name is Edna Sue McKee and I'm gonna make sausage gravy today. I've had a couple of requests for this so I've already made a pan of biscuits and these will go along with the sausage gravy. I'm gonna go ahead and put them in the oven so they can be cooking while I'll show you how to make sausage gravy. I'm putting these in a preheated oven like I told you last week on 420 and for about 20 minutes they'll stay in there so while they're cooking I'm gonna be showing you how to make some sausage gravy or actually milk gravy today I'm gonna use uh, Jimmy Dean sausage regular I didn't choose the hot because I like the kind of the milder sausage for my milk gravy now when I get ready to start uh, frying these sausage patties I was going to tell you that you can actually make milk gravy from fat back, frying fat back, frying bacon. Um, fried chicken makes really good gravy. But today I'm going to make milk gravy and then add this sausage to it. This has been a request from my husband, Jerry McKee. So I'm cutting these. The sausage has got these little lines on them and you can go by that to ever how thick you want your sausage patty. So when it gets down to the end, it's sometimes it's best just to go ahead and take the paper off of it. This will give the milk gravy a college education. Alright, I've cut all the sausage into patties and I turned on my black skillet on medium heat. So it would kind of get a little warm and I'm going to start putting the sausage patties in the frying pan. It's on medium heat. You don't want to cook them too fast and you don't want to cook them too slow. If you cook them on like medium temperature that will make the kind of the drippings from the sausage start showing up in the pan. And so we'll let these cook for about five minutes and then I'll flip them. I've uh, taken the sausage patties and they are almost ready. I flipped them several times to make sure that both sides are done. And I'm gonna cut the heat down just a little bit on the sausage patties. Let me check my biscuits. Oh yes, they're ready to come out. Let these sit right there until everything gets done. The sausage patties are almost ready to take up and I've got plenty of sausage drippings to make the gravy with. Anybody ready for a sausage biscuit? Sausage patties are done and so I'm going to take them up. Put them on a plate with paper towel so some, it will catch some of the excess grease. While the sausage patties were cooking, just continuously flip them over and over. Don't let them stick. Don't let them burn on either side. If you cook them too fast, they'll get done on the outside and be raw in the middle. So you just got to take your time, have a little patience. Right, I'm going to set these aside right here and now I'm going to put my attention to this pan of grease where the sausage patties has cooked. I'll take my little spatula and scrape everything that's on the bottom of the pan. I'm going to cut up the heat back to medium again. Make sure the grease stays good and hot. There's not a lot of grease, but enough. And I put some self-rising flour in a bowl and you just have to kind of judge. I got a, a big spoon and I'll do it one spoon at a time to see how much 
uh, the grease will absorb. So I'm going to take this and kind of shake it out all over the, the grease and then stir it up. <clears throat> this way you can tell if you need some more flour. Alright, I've got my flour browning in the grease. Stirring. I put one kind of good sized scoop of flour in it and it looks like with this amount of grease it looks like that's going to be enough. You don't want to put too much or you'll just have a big clob of flour in there and your gravy will be really lumpy. So I'm going to get this all uh, dissolved into the grease. And once every, all the flour is dissolved in the grease I'm going to start adding water. Looks like we're getting close. You have to stay with this when you're cooking gravy. You can't walk away and leave it. you got to stay right there with it and continuously stir it. Okay, I think all the flour is dissolved into the sausage drippings. So I poured one cup of water and I'm going to just start with that. I'll start with about a half a cup of water to start with. The water will get in uh, mix with the, gre the, the grease and the flour and it'll start getting kind of thick as you can see. That's what makes it good. That's the roux of the gravy. Looks like I'm gonna need a little bit more. So I think I'm gonna pour a complete cup of water. I don't usually measure when I cook like this, so that I'm having to kind of guess at my measurements. But you start stirring it, the water and let it blend in with the grease and the flour. Thins it out somewhat. And now after all that is mixed together, I use pet milk. You can use whole milk if you want to, but I've always used pet milk. So I'm going to pour the entire can of milk. Once again, you'll have to start stirring again to get all this stuff blended in into a smooth gravy. Uh, you can see in this that some of the meat drippings and little pieces of meat are in the gravy, but I'm going to use about three sausage patties and add to this once the mixture is has blended well. <clears throat> if you get you a hot buttered biscuit, split it open and put this gravy on there. Ooh, that's some good stuff. Okay, it's beginning to cook really good and the lumps are dissolving the more it cooks. It's blending in, getting to be smooth. Stirring the gravy is key. The whole, the entire job, I guess, would take about 20, 25 minutes to make a, a good pan of milk gravy. It's got to cook, start boiling, and then when it starts light, slightly boiling a little bit, it'll start thickening up. All right, I'm gonna let this gravy, I've stirred a good bit. So I'm, I'm gonna let it continue to sit there on medium heat while I take these, I'm gonna get three sausage patties that, from the ones I've just cooked. Just chop them up in little pieces, bite-sized pieces. This is this is gravy is kind of is similar to what you get when you go Crackle Barrel, and a lot of people call it sawmill gravy. I'm 
You can take bacon and do the same thing. And if you make gravy from fried chicken, you're gonna have a lot more crust and drippings in the pan after you take your chicken up. And you can get some of that out if you don't want all of that stuff in there in your gravy. But fried chicken drippings makes excellent gravy. All right, I've already chopped up three sausage patties and I'm getting ready to put into the gravy. And you can see that it's continuing to bubble a little bit. That's what make, thickens it up. A lot of people like gravy about like this, but my family seems to like the thicker gravy. So Once this starts cooling down, the thicker it will get. But the key to this is make sure all your ingredients that you put into this before you finishing up are blended well. And mine looks like it's blended well and it's been bubbling because it's good and hot. So I'm gonna go ahead and add this, this chopped up sausage to it. And I think we're about ready. Like I said, the cooler the gravy gets once you stop cooking it, the thicker it will get. So, well, you can see this is the finished product. Sausage patty, sausage gravy, homemade biscuits. And if you make a batch of this, enjoy it with your favorite cup of coffee like me. See you later.